Rest in peace with my father. He is the one who inspired Lucia Lord to be the man behind the mascara. So, okay, let's fucking do this. Do the tortillas. Tokyo, where are you, amigo? Yeah, rest in peace to my papa, man. Rest in fucking peace to my papa. Literally, he was the biggest, like, do you guys like WWE? Um, literally, my father was like the biggest WWE fan that I ever knew in the whole fucking world. You know, every single fighter, the ranks, when they're fighting, money in the bank shit, like the, the cage matches, all of that fucking shit, dude. I fucking used to watch that shit with my dad before we would go to sleep, and reminisce on all of the good times. We used to watch Senor Andy Millen knock us, dude. And the craziest shit to me is, I went to Japan and had sushi with Andy Milanakis. Would you fucking believe that dude? Before my father passed away, me and him used to talk about Andy Milanakis talking about he was the funniest fucking guy in the whole world. Me and my dad used to watch his shit, have the whole season on DVD, and now I had fucking sushi with him this year. Life is a fucking trip dude. Life is a fucking trip. Yo 619! 619 dude! Buyaka! Buyaka! 619! Senior Milanakis. Um, yeah, dude, fucking awesome guy. Like, literally, I don't know if you guys, like, can feel what I'm feeling, but every day I think about this shit, it is so fucking crazy. Let me tell you guys something, okay? If you guys have a fucking dream, dude, never fucking give up on that shit. Two months ago, two and a half months ago, I was sitting on my fucking ass, watching Senior Poseidon taking dabs, wishing that I could be a part of the CX house in the casa and fucking hang out with him, you know? Now, I fucking get invited to the guy's house in Austin. Life is a fucking trip, dude. Like, literally, do not give up on what the fuck are you doing. Don't let anybody cut you short don't let anybody fucking tell you that you're doing something wrong if you fucking know what you are doing keep fucking doing it man because people used to laugh at me when i would walk around with the selfie stick people used to fucking tell me i would never be a streamer people used to fucking tell me that i would never have over 5k followers and look where we are now man look where we fucking are now we have a whole fucking family of the cx rasa right here to keep us going every single day and it is fucking amazing man and i'm never going to fucking stop and you guys are the fucking reason that i keep doing this shit and to get on with you guys i fucking love you guys man Stop. Everything you fucking believe in, you can do that shit. I swear to fucking God you can do that shit, man. Fucking EBC wanted his song one day to be a fucking hit song. His song is a hit song. Senior Poseidon wanted to be a big streamer and go to Japan one day. That shit happened. I wanted to go to Japan one day. That shit fucking happened, dude. I wanted to meet Adam22. That shit fucking happened, dude. Shit will fucking happen for you. Don't fucking stop. I love you guys. Okay, now this shit is hot. Dude, you can call me delusional all you want, but like, seriously. Like, I did not have to pay for any of the Japan trip. Um, Before I went to Senior Poseidon's house, I had like fucking 100 subscribers. So this to me changed my fucking life. It really did. Yeah, grow. Um, dude, my favorite song by Senor EBC is Nick Mode right now. I play that shit. I, I, do you have a song that you get dressed to every single day? Like that is the fucking song that I get dressed to every single day. The Nick Mode is my favorite song. Lucha, you know what? I'm going to the gym right now and I want to get... What do you want to say? What? I want to get in shape and I almost stay in. Dude, you need to get into the gym, man. Stay in shape. You can fucking do this shit, dude. I fucking promise you guys, man. Like, I'm telling you, just fucking two months ago, I was sitting at home wondering what the fuck I'm going to do with my life. And like, I feel like I adopted a whole familia, you know? I adopted this whole fucking familia that I do not want to let down. And I fucking love you guys. Play Nick Mode, let's fucking do it, dude. EBC is a meme rapper. Well, you know what? A rapper is a rapper to me, dude. Meme rapper, emo rapper, trap rapper, whatever the fuck you want to call it. A rapper is a rapper to me at the end of the day. And if you have some fucking kind of hard form to rap, you're a rapper to me. Okay, let's do it. Make sure the tortillas aren't burning. Oh, fuck, dude. I burned my fucking hand. We're proud of you, amigo. Yo, Chris is drunk, stepdad. I'm fucking like... You know, every day, it, it is like surreal to me though, like not even kidding. Every day, I think people can keep saying I fucking, I still limit living in the past, but I literally like, I'm just thankful for the opportunities that I have and I feel like a lot of people are fucking, do, they take that shit for granted, you know? Cook a blunt? Holy shit, that'll be fucking tight. I need to cook a dab. I don't know to buy the loan, cause I'm tired of my hard times like Nick mode. I'd rather cut a sign say fuck the show. Oh, whoa, whoa. Viva solo vato? I, I don't, amigo. I, if you just saw, I served my mama some comida. If you enjoyed the video, click that subscribe button and smash that like button to catch more Apostoli shenanigans. Thank you for watching, family. Apostoli! Never went along, had a different vision. Plus the fact that I was strong and I wouldn't listen. Stupid Americans. What's wrong? Nothing.